during my first trip I got 17 items and the total amount was <laughs> back with another Kmart haul because you guys sure do love watching these and I have to say that I love shopping in Kmart. In this haul I'm going to be showing you some um, clothing items for myself, some clothing items for my kids, some organization things as well, some fun activities for the kids to do in summer um, and also just some randoms as well. So lots of goodies that I've picked up from Kmart. Anyways, I kind of did two trips in one during this shopping um, trip because I got a couple of stuff and then I actually forgot to get one particular thing I was actually looking for and then I ended up going back again to get more so I've got two receipts so some of you may be curious as to how much I have spent in this haul so I'm gonna let you know um, how much it was so during my first trip I got 17 items and the total amount was $138.50 so you can see there and then I went back again like I said because I did forget something quite important um, and I only got eight items I went back for one thing guys one thing and somehow I just grabbed another seven things while I was walking through yeah anyways I went back for one thing I ended up with eight things and that ended up being a total of seventy two dollars there we go so I feel like Kmart really do draw you in um, with the really low prices. But once you start adding all these things to your trolley, it does add up very quickly and you end up spending a whole lot more than you actually had planned to spend. First thing, I'll just start with clothing first as I have them right here in front of me. So I'll start with my things first. So I just wanted to get some basics because my water was just lacking a lot of basics. Um, so that's what I've picked up. So the first thing is this t-shirt. Actually, it looks like I'm wearing the same thing, but I'm not. <laughs> I just love the color red. I, I feel like when you wear the color red, it looks like you've made more of an effort than you actually have. It's just something about this color that it looks more dressy and more put together. But anyway, this is just a basic t-shirt that looks like this. Um, yeah, nothing too special. I don't remember how much this was. It doesn't have it on the tag thing. But let me have a look on the receipts. This was $4.50 and if you're interested, I'm a size 10. So that's what I picked up. The next basic item I got is just this like cami or singlet top and it's just black and white and looks like this. And this also doesn't have a price. This is not helpful whatsoever. Um, this was $5. This was actually more than the t-shirt. Hmm, interesting. Anyways. The next thing is this navy blue and white checkered skirt. So this is just a normal like stretchy cotton material. Really nice and comfy for summer to wear like with a white t-shirt or a white cami. This was $6 and it looks like this. And the last clothing I might got for myself is another skirt and it's this like, I don't even know what color this is. It's like a green like aqua kind of green color um, skirt with this little with the brown buttons along the middle and this skirt is or oh, this skirt was twelve dollars so I'll move on to the clothing that I got for my kids the first thing I got for my daughter Adriana who is two years old is this little skirt here really nice flowy and flowery skirt that's a mouthful. Um, and this was $10. She is still in a size one, even though she is two. Um, and even with like bottom, she could probably get away with a size zero. She's just so tiny. But anyways, this is the first thing I got for her. The next thing I've got is more um, because I'm planning things for winter, even though I really don't want winter to come. Um, so I got her this pink like raincoat. I think these have just come out because I couldn't find the boy version for this. So hopefully they'll bring the boy version out soon. I can get one for my son as well. Um, but I got this in a size 2 just so she can wear it for a longer time. And this was $12. 
and the last thing I've got for my daughter are just some shoes. We have a couple of special occasions coming up. We have an engagement party and a wedding coming up in the next um, month or so. So I just picked her up these little sandals here that she can wear with her dress. So I thought these were really cute and dressy but perfect for the summer season. So I've got these details on the side here. Really like that it's knotted over here and then it's like sparkly here. So that's a really cool touch. And then it's got the flower details on the top. And these were $12. And moving on to my son's clothing. The first thing I got him is just this basic black and grey singlet or tank that looks like this. And this was $5. Sorry about the glare there. Looks like that. And just some really nice comfy navy blue shorts that look like this with the drawstring tie. Really nice. And these are really soft material too. So super comfy to wear. And this was $10. And the last thing I got for my son, I just thought was so cool and funky. And he could probably actually wear these in autumn or winter with like a long sleeve underneath it. Um, but it's this black like singlet hoodie. And it looks like this. And it says the future is now on it. It's got, does it have pockets? Yes, it does. It's got little pockets on the side there. And like I said, just a hoodie on at the back of it. So that's all the clothing items I got. Now I'm going to get into the organization things that I bought. The first thing I got is some storage cubes to go under my son's bed. We live in a very small house with four people, so two adults and two young kids. And they just keep accumulating so much toys and stuff. Um, so we have now been putting stuff under my son's bed. So like big boxes of Legos and big items that just won't fit in his wardrobe and drawers. So um, at the moment, it kind of looks a bit messy under there. You can see it as you walk into his into his room um, because the bed is kind of the first thing you do see. And then obviously you can see everything underneath it. So I wanted to find something that I could put under his bed um, that will kind of hide all that clutter and stuff under there um, and still look nice and organized and tidy. So I browsed through Kmart's organization and storage aisles and I found this. So it's the underbed storage cubes. So I thought this would be perfect for his room. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's got heaps of room. Um, for your reference, it's 18 centimeters by 54 centimeters by 43 centimeters deep. Um, so yeah, pretty good size. I just put it in this print here. I couldn't find them in any other print actually. This is the only print I could find in my store. Um, so I'm not too sure if there's any other prints available, um, perhaps in your store where you live. Um, but I ended up getting two of these and they were $7 each. So I may need one more, um, just depends on how many boxes I can actually fit under his bed um, and how much stuff will fit in these and whether I do need an extra one or not. But I'm excited to use this and organize his room a little bit better. The thing in my house that really needs some TLC is the shoe cupboard. Is the shoe cupboard. The shoe cupboard drives me insane. It's just every time I organize the shoe cupboard, I put everything in order, put the kids' shoes, our shoes, all in the right spots with the matching pairs. It just gets completely messed up, I would say, within 24 hours, if I'm lucky. Like, it's just, it gets so messy. The kids love pulling out their own shoes, so obviously you're going to expect mess with that. And to this date, I haven't worked out a way to get it organized, so shoes are just thrown in there. Um, so my shoe cupboard is just like a normal opening cupboard and we just have like one shelf. On the top shelf we have my daughter's and my shoes and below that we have my son's and my husband's shoes. Um, there's nothing dividing them, it's just like one shelf. So there was nothing kind of like separating the shoes and I think that's what was causing the biggest drama. Um, but because there was only one shelf, I couldn't put those like shoe racks in there, it wouldn't fit. So I found these little containers in Kmart and they look like this. So a decent size um, that will fit into my cupboard. And these are called just the medium tub. I can't remember how much these were as well. I think they were like 
four or five dollars each but I thought these would be really great to put the kids shoes in so obviously I got two because I have two kids um, but because these shoes are quite small I think I could easily fit all these shoes in here and have them sitting like this in the drawer so when they need their shoes they can just pull it out grab the shoes they want and then they can just put them back into this um, container it may still get messy in here but at least all these shoes will be together rather than finding one pair of shoe on the wrong shelf or one pair of shoe mixed in with my son's or with my, my shoes and it was just a complete mess so I'm hoping this system will possibly work I'll see how it goes so this is how the little storage bins worked out so I can fit most of my kids shoes in one there's some of the bigger bulkier shoes that I could not fit in there these are more like the winter shoes that are really chunky um, and I don't even know if these fit him anymore because he may have grown out of them so I'm just put them on the side here but these are the shoes that he will mainly wear um, and then over here are my daughter's shoes here so most of hers fit in there too because her shoes are obviously smaller there was only one pair of joggers that would not fit um, but that's okay and again I'm not too sure if they will fit her for much longer so these excess shoes here may um, be disposed of soon um, but they've worked out okay I mean they're, they're a bit squished in there um, they're kind of sitting upright but we'll see how we go with the little bins but that is what they look like at the moment um, yeah so I just wanted to quickly show you that I actually end up moving those shoes to the other side and putting the tubs in the middle so these things wouldn't keep knocking in the basket I think this is a little bit more accessible so just a little update there just put them in the middle like that but all the other shoes are the same okay now moving on to kind of some randoms the first thing I got is a quilt cover set for mine and my husband's bed I don't like spending a whole heap on bedding I probably should buy a really good decent one but I just can't separate my money to like a very expensive bedding because I have young kids and they still kind of creep into bed with us sometimes when they're unwell and sometimes stuff gets on the bed um, during those nights so I just can't spend the money on a really expensive bedding set just yet perhaps when the kids are a bit older I'll invest in something a bit nicer but anyways this is the one I picked up so it's just the queen size um, and I really like this one because you can it's like reversible so you can have it on the white side or you can use the black side so I thought that was a really cool idea and this was $18 the next thing I got is also like a bedding thing but it's for my son and this is the reason why I actually had to go back a second time into Kmart because I forgot to buy this I started preschool this year and at preschool they are allowed to have a nap or a rest and lay down on one of their like fold out beds there but I have seen these beds and they're quite thin and I wanted something really comfortable for him in case he did actually need to have a nap. Now and again he will nap. He doesn't do regular naps. Um, he doesn't do regular naps but he will lay down and have a rest if he's had a really big day or he'll crash in the car if we've been out all day. So I wanted something really comfy for him in case he does need to have a little snooze while at preschool. So I bought him this comforter set and it looks like this. I obviously won't give him the pillow he won't really need that um, but I just thought he could lay this out onto those fold out beds and have this nice and comfortable um, comforter to lay on rather than just like a hard rolled out bed just for extra comfort just to make sure that he is comfortable at school in all aspects so this was 1950 um, and like I said, it does come with a pillowcase as well. Um, and this um, comforter here is also reversible. And the next thing I got is just a tumbler for me. Um, I always drink my water out of this. I find that if I drink water out of a tumbler, I tend to drink more water than just a normal glass. So the one I had was kind of getting chipped and broken on the top. So I just need a new one. So I picked one up from Kmart. And this was this is just like a gold glitter one with a gold top as well so and I think these were three dollars 
The next thing I've got is for our laundry. So our laundry has the toilet in there as well because we have a separate toilet to our bathroom. Um, but obviously there is a door there um, when you are using the toilet. But that's where the guests will typically go into when they need to use the bathroom. So I always like to have this part of my house smelling fresh and nice. So I have bought this tropical um, diffuser um, that looks like this. So it comes with the reeds inside, obviously, and then the scent in the bottle. So I got this for our laundry, and I think this was $9 from memory. I might be wrong. Oh, sorry, this was $7. I just checked on the receipt. So this was $7, so pretty good buy. I'll see how well this kind of diffuses the, the room. Um, it's not a big room, so I thought this would be okay to try. The last thing I got was for the kids to play in their swimming pool during summer, and it's these two little swimming um, toys. So the first thing is this original Splash Bomb Super Splashes, and it looks like this. So basically this says... Um, it's kind of like a water balloon, but obviously more durable. It's very, very squishy. It's got little holes in there as well. I'm actually not 100% sure how this works. I'm assuming you fill it up with water and you can kind of like throw it at people and it will kind of splash water everywhere. We'll see how they find it. Um, but it says dunk them and splash them on the back like that. So hopefully they'll have some fun with these. And this was $8. And the last thing, like I said, is this Swimways Turbo Booster um, that looks like this. So this is like a little fish that swims in the water. So I thought they would get a really big kick out of this playing with it in their swimming pool. Um, yeah, it just says radical rockets zip, flip and race on the water surface. Simple pop open battery insulation, no tools required. So yeah, motorized rockets. We'll see how this goes and if they like it. And that is the end of my Kmart haul. I hope you have enjoyed. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It will really help out my channel and make my day. And if you are new, don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you join my channel and follow my journey on YouTube. I've got heaps of fun videos coming up for you. Lots more hauls, so if you're into that sort of video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on seeing those ones as well. And that's all from me. I hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.